We start with a round call. If this is the answer, what is the question? On the board are six categories. Matt, which category would you like? World news, please. OK, world news it is. The answer is petrol, money and drugs. What is the question? Is it the three middle names of Princess Charlotte? <laughs> Is it what three things might a Greek keep in a chicken? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it what do gangsters play instead of rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> Is it what three things are keeping Keith Richards alive? <laughs> <laughs> Is it what in the sound of music are the Von Trapp's family's real favourite things? <laughs> What are, the th what are the three characters called on a packet of Colombian Rice Krispies? <laughs> <laughs> Is it what three things are we being paid in this evening? <laughs> All together in one big bucket. Yeah. 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 What will the motto be for the Qatar World Cup? Is it complete the song? Hugh Pugh, Barney McGrew. <laughs> <laughs> that's scanned. That, yeah, that probably scanned very well. It would be a much better song, wouldn't it? It would have been very good. What <laughs> are the three main aisles in a Bolivian Waitrose? <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know the uh, you know, question? You, know, you know that tattoo you got that you think says peace, love and harmony? <laughs> <laughs> Is it to do with Greece? It is to do with Greece. Is it what three things are they worn in Greece are about to run out of? Ah, very good. Thank you very much, Ed Byrne. That's excellent. <laughs> yes, the question I was looking for is what items are at risk of running out in Greece after Sunday's crucial vote on the EU's bailout terms? This is news that 61% of the Greek population voted against accepting the strict austerity measures proposed by the EU. There's now a real risk that the country will run out of money, fuel and medicine. So what does it all mean for Greece? It's ridiculous now. It, the whole thing is just going on. It is like a soap opera. Now, I, don't, I don't watch the Eurozone crisis now, day to day. I wait till Sunday and I watch the Omnibus edition. <laughs> <laughs> this thing of just referring to the Greek exit as Grexit, it just is like, are you that in that much of a hurry that you couldn't say a third syllable? <laughs> <laughs> the British, if the British exit happens, it's going to be called Brexit. It sounds like a cheap form of Lego. Hmm. Or what the Greek Prime Minister does every time he meets Angela Merkel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get this thing that you can... I didn't know that you could reject banks' demands. If I'd known that, my whole life would have been different. <laughs> if I'd been able to go to the bank and go, well, I do owe you ten grand, but I really like my lifestyle. <laughs> It could be, but it could be a mis-selling scandal, doesn't it? Because I don't, as far as I'm aware, Greece was never made to sign that box that said your home is at risk if you do not keep <laughs> up the repayments. You think they're waiting for the PPI? Uh, yeah, the, I think the they'll 400 kick in. quid of PPI. Yeah. That's the one thing that they'll bail them out of this time. Apparently, the Greek government have admitted that living in their past is their Achilles' heel. <laughs> <laughs> expecting that reaction, no, were no. Oxy, they went. <laughs> Oxy to that. Uh, <laughs> I think it's definitely a case that if they want to bail out, they get bailed themselves out, like whatever, they really just have to invoke copyright law on all the stuff they invented some yeah. time ago now, right, but that they definitely invented, like democracy, triangles and gays. Uh, <laughs> and if they... <laughs> no. Philosophy as well. The birthplace of philosophy, isn't it? Or yeah. was it? Yes, or you know well. <laughs> 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 Why do you think that there is a professional philosopher at home going, that's not what philosophy is! <laughs> it's not just going, or is it? <laughs> I, think there's a, I think there's a lot of opportunities in Greece, actually. I'm going to start a band called Cash Machine, because people will be queuing around the block. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we've been told, if we go on holiday to Greece, that we to take lots and lots of money with us. Yes. To rub it in? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's to pay your kidnappers. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a ploy behind the you know, telling tourists to bring as much cash with them as they possibly can, because they know there'll be a load of overweight, old British tourists there with massive bum bags of cash round the front. They're basically just sitting human ATM machines. That's all they are. <laughs> do, do, muggers line up, do muggers line up behind the tourists uh, whilst one of them goes, no, 60 euros each. Yeah. That is a limit <laughs> for mugging these people. That's it.